The natural world is bursting with vibrant colors and stunning beauty, while the universe remains an expansive mystery. Movies and TV shows captivate us, and video games offer endless adventures. We've come a long way since the invention of black and white film and those clunky old cathode ray tubes. Now with modern flat panel displays like LCD, OLED, and mini LED, we're able to truly immerse ourselves in the marvels of our world. Photographers capture the fascinating world, while screen engineers bring it to life before our eyes. When it comes to laptops, the screen is crucial. Lenovo, the world's leading laptop manufacturer by market share, has been dedicated to constant research and innovation in screen display technology. We're excited to present Lenovo's Pure Sight Display. It offers a sharp, smooth, realistic, eye-safe, and accurate visual experience. So our first topic is all about the sharp. In nature, whether or not you can see a tiger clearly depends on the viewing distance and the condition of your eyes. If you get close enough, you can see the tiger's fur and changes in its pupils clearly. However, if the screen is not clear enough, when you view it up close, you'll see individual pixels. The key to displaying a clear image on a screen is having enough small pixels to show the image. When the pixels are small enough to be invisible to the naked eye, the transition edges between the tiger's fur and pupils will appear smooth and without visible particles, which is what we call a clear image. Using an electron microscope, we can see a pattern of neatly arranged red, green, and blue RGB emitting points. Each of these points is called a subpixel. When three RGB subpixels come together, they form a set known as the optical primary colors, which make up a single pixel on the screen. By controlling the color of each pixel, the screen can display different images. So in simple terms, we can say that the screen's display mainly depends on two key components, the light source and color display. An LCD screen consists of two main parts, the liquid crystal panel and the backlight. The backlight provides the light source using LED lights combined with a light guide plate and optical films, while the liquid crystal panel controls color display. By tweaking the deflection of the liquid crystal molecules, the transmittance of the red, green, and blue subpixels can be controlled. This allows us to control the proportions of red, green, and blue colors. When displaying pure black, the liquid crystal molecules on the corresponding pixels are completely closed. Recently, laptops have started using mini-LED technology as an upgrade to regular LCD screens. Mini-LED changes the backlighting by shrinking the backlight beads to a range of 50 to 200 microns, and arranging them in a direct-type backlight panel, and divided into multiple zones that can be independently controlled. When displaying pure black, the backlighting in the corresponding zones is turned off, resulting in a dark screen. In an OLED screen, the red, green, and blue subpixels can emit light individually. Think of them as tiny red, green, and blue lamp beads. By adjusting the brightness of these beads, we can control the proportions of each color and have the desired color for each pixel. To display pure black, we just turn off the lamp beads on the corresponding pixels. There's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to screen technologies. We make sure to choose the most suitable screen technology for each product model, catering to the specific needs of different users. So, going back to that tiger we want to see clearly, how many pixels do we need for a sharp image? Well, we measure pixel density in terms of PPI, pixels per inch. The industry generally considers a screen with a PPI of 220 or higher makes for a screen that looks clear and detailed to the naked eye. The reasoning behind this is that, at typical viewing distances for laptops, around 50 centimeters, you won't be able to see individual pixels of that size. Lenovo's Pure Sight display makes a PPI of 235 five or higher for all the products this year. This means that even on a 14-inch screen, the resolution reaches 2.8K or higher. Extensive user scenario testing has shown that people with excellent vision can perceive the screen's fine and clear quality. LTPS
In the natural world, another crucial factor in being able to see a tiger clearly is the ambient light intensity. Similarly, when it comes to viewing on a screen, another important dimension that affects clarity is brightness, measured in nits. From a user experience perspective, when the ambient light is bright, a higher screen brightness tends to provide a clearer view. However, in low light environments, it's important to adjust the screen brightness to a suitable level to avoid eye strain and discomfort. In a typical office environment, it's usually recommended to set the screen brightness around 200 nits for a comfortable viewing experience. However, to ensure clear visibility, even in bright areas like near windows or outdoors, we've elevated the standard to a typical value of 400 nits. This means that even in well-lit conditions, the screen remains crisp and clear to see. Now that we've got a clear and vibrant tiger in view, let's switch gears and dive into the challenges that come with displaying high-speed moving images on screens. In the next topic, we'll tackle the topic of smooth. All right, that wraps up Pure Sight Display Sharp for this episode. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments section on any screen-related topic. We'll catch you in the next one.